Well, last week seems like uh, ancient history. <laughs> We're turning around and going on the road again tomorrow, and that's kind of hard to believe. Uh, not an ideal scheduling situation, back-to-back -back weeks on the road, uh, non-conference games stuck uh, right where you don't want it. Um, I've never really liked playing non-conference games in the middle of conference, but Seattle used joining our league, and uh, uh, we agreed to play them home and home, and of course they're trying to trying to get some games in January and February, and this is this is how it worked out. And, uh, you know, so um, we've quickly turned our attention towards them and, and obviously Idaho. But uh, last weekend, you know, was a – it was a definitely uh, up and down situation where we really struggled at New Mexico State just the last 14 minutes. I mean, we were right in the game till that point, and then uh, you know felt like felt like we just uh, didn't compete. And then we go uh, go to La Tech and get down right away, but battle and fight and claw and find a way to get a win. And that was a satisfying win, you know, when you're. It's it's really all relative when you when you look at uh, our teams through the years and and this team and uh, you know and we were we were fighting the years we were going fourteen and two and fifteen and one uh, in league you're fighting to win every game and and uh, now we're fighting to win uh, any game uh, instead of every game <laughs> fighting to win any game and uh, you know that's a it's it's the same, but it's different. I mean, it's you know everything's kind of relative to what kind of season you got going, and and we're just we just keep trying to find a way to get a little better and and see if we can uh, win the game in front of us, and and that's where we're at right now. Uh, see, Al, you coming off a, a really good performance last night versus Eastern Washington, uh, scored a bunch of points, had a couple guys go off. Uh, you know they're playing quite a bit different than when we saw them last time. They're pressing a lot more. Uh, they've changed their offense. Uh, you know it'll it'll be a similar situation press-wise to what we saw at La Tech. Lots of presses on every opportunity they get. Uh, you know, and, it, and then we go play Idaho, who will have had all week just one game. Um, they already know us pretty well, and and now they might. Uh, with a whole week to prepare, they they might know what we're going to do before we know what we're going to do. Um, so that uh, you know, going in there uh, certainly is is always a challenge. Going to Moscow and and uh, you know, and they're uh, they're solid. You watch them play, and they're uh, you know they're just really solid. They they play good offense. They they run good stuff. Uh, you know, they they're solid defensively, and. Uh, you know they've got uh, they've got quite a few good pieces that for their system and and Coach V's doing a good job with them. So um, you know we've won two road games. We doubled our total. <laughs> so that's the good news. Uh, you know we'd sure like to find a way to uh, to keep uh, getting some wins on the road. You know and we've got another opportunity this week. So we'll see uh, see how we do. You know, basketball is so weird, Sean, because you've seen it through the years where somebody might win by 20 at home and lose by 20 on the road to the same team. Uh, you know, the, the home and road factor is, is always such a big thing, I think. You know, they, they had a really poor shooting night in Logan, and we needed to win at the time. Uh, well, we do every game. We need to win at the time, but really needed to win at that time and, and played really hard and got a W. But they're... Their talent level is is high, and, and people might say, "Well, the record's not real great." How do you say that? Well, I've watched them on film. I mean, they've got transfers from Pac Pac-12 schools and uh, athletic uh, rebound the heck out of it. I mean, if they get it cooking on you, it's it's uh, it's tough. So, um, you know, and that game was a while ago, and and uh, it'll take take a little bit to remind our guys. Uh, but we can at least watch ourselves play against them and see what we did and didn't do, and that should be somewhat helpful. How's Morgan's? What's his situation? Don't know. Uh, 
good thing is it's, uh, it's not a fracture. Um, but we, had, we did not practice yesterday, so we desperately needed a day off and uh, took yesterday off, so I'll know more. He's obviously going to do whatever he can, um, but I'll know more after we practice today. Like I said, the good news was it's not a fracture, but there, there, there's obviously something going on in there, there's some kind of floating uh, deal that's causing him problems or what, whatever. They're not quite sure. Uh, what's uh, causing it to swell up and all that sort of stuff. He was actually walking to the scorer's table to check in when it happened. So that's that's pretty odd. So in the second half, what, 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 how, how did he go, go about that time start to warm up? And then you, you said afterwards he was, you were told he probably wasn't going to be available. Did he just tell you, I'm going to go play? Uh, he saw well, the kind of foul trouble we were in and uh, – Went back and told Mike to retape him and told me he could play. So that's all I need to hear. <laughs> I put him in. So that, uh, that's how that all transpired. And he played the rest of the half, you know, and uh, and somewhat hobbled. But he, Morgan uh, knows he's a smart basketball player. He knows what we're trying to do out there. And just having him out there helped us for sure. With the type of adversity that you faced against La Tech, do you feel like the team is understanding a little bit more what it takes to get a road win? Um, you know, I I think uh, it was really positive that we, on a Saturday night road game, it's always tough, and, and it'll be even tougher when you've went two weeks in a row this Saturday, but I think it's always uh, positive when you respond. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you're going to play great the next weekend or anything like that but uh, you know it uh, that would have been a really tough one to to lose uh, because we had fought all the way back and actually went up by double digits and put ourselves in a pretty good position and we had to kind of hang on through through some crazy stuff at the end but um, you know we we just uh, <clears throat> we we should know by now that we have limitations and we have to scratch and claw to be in any game. That's just, you know, when we're 10 and 8, we're not, uh, we're not, uh, you know, 4 and 16 or something. I mean, we're, you know, I think they can garner some, some good feelings about at least finding a way to be, uh, you know, make progress and, and uh, get back to 500 in the league and be above 500 overall. Obviously, we'd like to be better than that, but, uh, you know, I, I think they're, they're learning how hard we got to play to be in the game. So um, that's what I think happened last weekend. I mean, we, you, you, have to, you have to be really close to the floor when you match up against New Mexico State and, and uh, you know, Nevada and Hawaii to just see the physicality and size of those teams and, uh, and us uh, scrambling around trying to get some rebounds is – is a challenge. You know, that's where the, you know, having Brady would have been such a huge thing from a rebounding standpoint. We're minus five on the boards in league, and uh, something tells me he'd have got at least five. So, a game. You know, so that's uh, that's something that we're trying to make up for every game, not having a, you know, a dominant type rebounder. You talk from time to time about your uh, patience. In a season like this versus a season like last year, and that patience, uh, is is it stretched thinner this year, or does it make any difference? Or? Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's just a different kind of deal when you're uh, – the best way I can say it is the past few, few years, uh, we've been trying to win every game. And we've been expected. I mean, when you go 30 and four, and uh, and still there's lots of criticism. That tells you, that tells you, that people sometimes expect you to win every basketball game. Uh, you know, and and uh, and we're not in that situation. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to win single games and and just put together some wins as best we can. Uh, so it's. You know, it's 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 a different kind of thing. I think my my patience is more relative to uh, my age 
in the years I've been in this business than than last season versus this season. I have to work on my patience, and sometimes I don't work on it very well, and other times I I, I do pretty good. I mean, I, I was the I was the mellow one on the bench the other night. Sean, I'll tell you that. I had a couple wild men on each side of me, and that was great. I loved it. They were uh, they were instructed to to be as they were, uh, and I thought it was awesome. Like so, Saturday game, you mean? yeah, oh yeah, you had to be there. <laughs> he, he had to be there to see those two guys. Coach Felt was on the road, and Coach Jones and, and Coach Durier were in rare form. They were in rare form, and uh, I had asked him that day to to be extremely vocal, and uh, they had responded. They did a great job. And you could hear about every word. Uh, there's, there wasn't very many people there. And there were some uh, some some words that would have been bleeped in, in certain cases. And that's that's uh, that's the way it is. That's, but uh, they were good. I got good assistance. That's, that helps my patience to have uh, quality assistance. And I have had for a long time. So that's why... That's why a number of them are head coaches. Have you seen anything out of any bench players that have stepped up or done anything uh, special the last on this road trip? Well, we played all 11 guys at La Tech, you know, and, and uh, some of that was not planned. It was just uh, by necessity. I mean, when, when uh, a guy like Igor gets no game prep and is forced into action, you know, that's tough, and that's he, he did fine. I mean, he had a pick-and-pop jumper, and... Um, you know, I think Ben Clifford is, you know, he ended up starting the second half and his stats were, were positive. Uh, you know, we had, uh, we had pretty good production off the bench. EJ did, came in and did a pretty solid job. Mitch, Mitch has been real steady off the bench. So, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of new guys, a lot of young guys, uh, getting time off, off the bench and, you know, they should get better as the year goes along. Um, that was the old saying, the best thing about a freshman is when they become a sophomore. Um, but, and that's, that's definitely true, but towards the later in their freshman year, they should be, should be more productive. And that's, that's what we're looking for. Brock Heath really has asserted himself. Oh, no question. No question. Brock is, you look at Brock's four league games and his stats compared to his overall stats, it's like night and day. He's, uh, He's got his mojo back a little bit, or whatever you want to call it. He's got his confidence, and uh, you know he's he's making some things happen out there, and that's that's been huge for us. Uh, you know that's kept us in games and helped us win games. So he's uh, he's playing like an all league guard. That's what he that's what he is. So that's nice to see.